Now we'll design the major connector in the finish line. I'm going to start by selecting the pencil tool. I'm going to rotate this model so I can see the mesh area a little bit better. Now if you take a look, there's a sharp edge right here where the relief wax and the tissue area meet. Uh, with my pencil tool, I can actually feel uh, that edge. So I'm going to start designing my uh, major connector right up against the relief wax. Now with our software, you can actually work in a couple of different ways. You can work on top of the model, which is what I'm doing right now as I'm plotting points um, right on the edge of the bead line. Or I can actually pop through to the inside of the model and I could feel the edge of this bead line from the inside. I could feel that very sharp corner right here. And I can follow that all the way around to the end of the bead line. Um, I'd like to make a lingual plate right here on number seven. And I'll also create the guide plane. I'll continue outlining my major connector around the anterior mesh. Now you'll also notice that during my design, um, when I outline the major connector, I bring the uh, outline up onto the lingual plates, um, rest seats, uh, minor connectors, guide planes, and the reason I do that is I actually found that it will save me a couple of minutes during my partial design um, if I bring my outline up on the lingual plates and all the areas I just mentioned. Um, now for the purpose of this presentation, I actually left teeth number two and four uh, without the outline on top of them so I can show you how to add digital wax manually uh, in the rest seats and uh, the guide plane areas. So I'll just continue outlining my major connector. Um, I'll pop through to the inside of this bead line. And I'll also have a lingual plate on this canine. Now in this area, <clears throat> I'm going to have a post for tooth number 12. You can also add a pontic if you'd like and then add some retention beads if, uh, if let's say you wanted to make a composite um, overlay uh, on a metal dummy. So that's completely in your control as well if you wanted to um, design your partial that way. We'll have a guide plane here on number 13. Once again, pop through to the inside to go around the bead line. Along with the rest seats between uh, teeth number um, 13 and 14. I'll make my minor connector. And we'll finish off the major connector by connecting the two lines. Now, what I would also like to do before adding the major connector here, um, I'd like to block out this um, palette area a little bit because if, if we look at it, we could see that there's some rough spots around the rugae area and just that the tissue itself is a little bit rough. So I'd like to add just a little bit more block out wax, about 70 to 100 microns thick uh, to make sure that I have a perfectly fitting partial uh, once, um, once the resin pattern is printed and the partial is cast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select what we call a filler tool. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to click on the outline. And you'll see an orange patch within the outline that I just drew for the major connector. Now, the additional blackout wax will be added everywhere that you see this uh, orange color on the screen. Uh, if you see any spots where you don't want to add additional blackout wax, it's very easy to remove. Let me just resize my tool here. And I can touch the model and just delete the orange color from all the areas that I don't want to add blackout wax to. So right now I'm removing it from the bead lines. And everywhere else, we'll add a little bit of blackout wax. So once you're ready to add the blackout wax, we'll click the apply button. Now I'll select the select wax with ball tool and the orange color changed to green and I'm going to click on the add to blackout and all of that wax has been added to the digital refractory model. Now as you can see, it's a very thin layer of wax and like I said in the beginning, it's about 70 to 100 microns thick. So it doesn't really add too much 
uh, space underneath your major connector, but this will give you a, um, a great fitting partial. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit more, and I'm going to select the major connector tool, and we're going to add the major connector with a stippled layer um, in the outline that I um, drew just a few seconds ago. So once again, I'm going to click on the outline, and I can select different stipple patterns. Um, I can also preset my stipple thickness and ba base thickness uh, within the software. So right now I have it set to 0.2 millimeters uh, for the stipple layer and 0.7 millimeters for my base thickness, which will give me a total of 0.9 millimeters thick. Uh, all of these numbers and your stipple patterns you can preset ahead of time so you won't have to change them or adjust them uh, on a case-to-case -case basis. Um, I'm going to click the apply button and the major connector will be added within the outline. The next step that I'd like to show you is um, I'm going to smooth out this um, link ball plate right here on number 7. I'm going to select the smooth tool, make it a little bit larger, and it's very easy to smooth this out. So as you can see, it doesn't take a long time to get rid of that stipple uh, on the lingual plate. Now, like I said before, uh, I'd like to add my, uh, draw my outline on my lingual plates and rest seats and, and my minor connectors uh, that it saves me a couple of minutes during my partial design. And as you can see, to get rid of the stipple, it really does not take a lot of effort or time. Now what I would like to do is connect my interior mesh to the major connector. So I'm going to select a tool that's called a clone tool. And I'm going to make it a little bit larger. And I'm also going to specify a thickness for it. I want 3 quarters of a millimeter of wax to be added to this design. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is I'm going to add a little bit of wax. I'm going to fill that hole in. And as you can see, it doesn't matter how much wax I'm trying to add uh, in this area. It's not getting any thicker. Now the reason for that is that this particular tool will only add wax to the digital refractory model or to the blackout wax. It will not add wax to wax. So with this tool you can really guarantee a consistent thickness throughout your design. I'm going to remove that wax that I filled in my uh, retention area in the mesh and I'm going to connect the interior mesh to my major connector. I'd like to fill in some of these holes here. And I'll select my smooth tool and just go ahead and blend that in. So the smooth tool is, is actually very similar to like using an alcohol torch. As you can see, it's, it's very simple and, and easy to um, to smooth the wax out um, in the areas that may have had a, a couple of sharp corners there. So let's do the same thing for the posterior mesh. And here what I would also like to show you is how to add digital wax manually to the rest seats uh, on number two and number four and I'll also add the guide planes in here as well. So once again I'll select the clone tool. Uh, the thickness is already preset to 0.75 millimeters thick and I'm going to start by connecting the mesh area to the major connector. I'll go into the mesial and distal areas, for number two and four. And I'll start by adding a rest seat to number two. So now I've added three quarters of a millimeter for the rest seat. And let's do the same thing for number four. Let's add the guide plane. And let's add another guide plane on number two. Okay, I'll select the smooth tool again, and I'd like to blend in some of these sharp corners here.
do the same thing on the rest seat and the guide plane. Now, as I'm using the smooth tool, I'm not removing any wax, so I'm not making this uh, rest seat of the guide plane any thinner. Uh, what this tool actually does, it pushes wax around, um, around the orange tool that you see here on the screen. So wherever I'm touching the wax, it's actually just going to just, just push the wax around to blend it in, but it's not removing uh, any material. Let's get rid of the sharp corners on number four as well. Okay, and now we're ready to add the finish line. So I'm going to select the pencil tool again, and I'm just going to draw where I want my finish line to be. I'm going to select the finish line tool, and I'm going to click on the line that I just drew. Now we have a three-dimensional preview of the finish line. If you take a look at the left, there's a purple arrow with a two-sided arrow um, pointing buckle and lingual. Now, if I grab the center point of that arrow, it turns white. And if I hold that point, you could see if I move it back and forth, buckle lingual, uh, you could see that the degree numbers are changing uh, right now. So I can actually change the angle of my finish line. So I'm going to move it forward a little bit. I'll rotate it. And you could see that you can have more of an undercut or less of an undercut, um, depending on how much retention you want to add for for the resin. The lingual side of the finish line has a nice smooth finish so it will blend in with your major connector and the buckle side of the finish line has a nice flat uh, finish that will hold your resin uh, nicely once it's applied. So um, you can also change the shape uh, of your finish line uh, because it's still in 3D preview. You can grab any one of these points and move them around if you're not happy with the way uh, your finish line looks on the screen. Once you are happy with the way it looks, we'll click the apply button and the three-dimensional preview will, will be turned into a uh, digital wax. I'll select the smooth tool once again and I'm just going to blend this area in so it's nice and smooth with the major connector. And now let's add a post in. So I'm just going to zoom in into the area. I'm going to select the tool that's called Add Wax Tool. And I'm going to start by uh, putting this tool right in the area where I want to start the post. And I'm going to extend the post up, maybe make the occlusal surface of the post a little bit wider. and. We're going to place the post. I'm going to select um, a carving tool, which is called a smudge tool, and maybe give the post, uh, the occlusal surface of the post, a little bit of a, of a nail head. And if you want to add a little bit of retention, you can just go ahead and grind some of this wax away. So now we'll have a little bit of retention on the post. Do the same thing on the lingual side. You can also add a Pontic um, in this area if you wanted to. Um, so it's, it's completely in your control what kind of design you want for this particular partial. Let's add another finish line in the interior mesh. Select the finish line tool. Here's the three-dimensional preview again. Once again, we can use this purple arrow to rotate the finish line. Um, use these points to change the shape of the finish line. Or if you're happy with it, we can just click Apply and turn that into digital wax. And I'm just going to select the Smooth tool and blend it into the major connector.